Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome to uh, another video review. Uh, this will be, uh, it will take uh, me a little bit of time to cobble everything together. It won't be very long, but uh, basically I was just really excited today um, to finally get these. Um, this is of course, for those of you, you know, who are aware, this is the uh, custom signature plaques for my Obi-Wan series of lightsabers. Um, as you know, Ewan McGregor, during the time of um, the prequels, didn't really do any fan uh, signings. And when Master Replicas uh, was, you know, putting together their series of um, uh, signature edition lightsabers, there was a couple of holes. Unfortunately, um, they never had a signature edition of any of the Obi-Wan lightsabers. Uh, because, you know, Ewan McGregor at the time was not signing. They did not have uh, a Qui-Gon signature because Liam Neeson similarly didn't sign. And, uh, of course, they never had signature editions of Yoda because Frank Oz didn't sign. Uh, so all these uh, years, uh, even decades later, um, you know, Ewan McGregor is now um, more fan-friendly, so to speak, or, you know, he's more into the fandom. Uh, the world has changed. And so he's been signing, you know, quite a bit more. Uh, and so for those of us who love the Master Replicas uh, lightsabers, uh, we're, we've been trying over the years that if we don't have, of course, the official uh, licensed signature editions, we've been trying to bridge the gap by getting as many um, custom plaques as possible uh, signed. And so in this case, um, I managed to get uh, Ewan McGregor to sign uh, three of these plaques, one for each of the lightsabers from each of the prequel movies. Uh, Master Replicas did make uh, a separate release for each one. Um, of course, uh, the Elite Edition from uh, Obi-Wan Phantom Menace, an Elite Edition uh, was created. And then a almost identical one was uh, made uh, for uh, episode two, Attack of the Clones, right over here, as you can see. And then finally, um, a more a different lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith. Now I have a video reviews of uh, two of the three. Uh, I don't have one of the Attack of the Clones one. I just actually got that in uh, yesterday. So I decided to uh, commission a separate one for each um, from a company called SWAU. So quite a bit uh, kind of went into getting this done. So for one thing, um, you need to have a custom plaque made for you as well as a uh, base for the plaque. Uh, and I hope, I think you'll agree that the person who fabricated this, um, Ariel, uh, who's really kind of the acknowledged uh, you know, leader in this, uh, has done a, a amazing job. I mean, basically his custom plaques and stands are uh, indistinguishable, in my opinion, from the actual Master Replica's official releases. The only difference between these uh, metallic plaques uh, that he makes and the official licensed Master Replica's is the fact that the signature area is still the kind of um, brushed aluminum, whereas the Master Replica's um, is a white, uh, white square. But other than that, uh, I hope you'll appreciate it. It's basically uh, essentially identical. You um, have the name, Signature Edition, and then you have the Master Replicas logo as well as the Lucasfilm logo. And then of course, the, the title the movie is from, and then what we're seeing here, the Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. It's a beautiful, um, you know, uh, replica. So first of all, you have to get the plaque made. And then uh, comes a really difficult part. You have to get Ewan uh, uh, McGregor's signature and it has to be authenticated. Um, so, you know, the company uh, in this case was SWAU. Uh, they got him uh, to sign at the New York Comic Con, which just finished uh, in October. And so what you have to do is you have to take this plaque and then you have to send it in, um, you know, and then they get it. Uh, Ewan McGregor signs it and then they send it back to you. Um, so that whole process takes quite a while. Uh, there obviously is a time limit uh, because they need time to actually process uh, these uh, sending items. And so I sent this in sometime, I think in May. And so I waited um, over six months for these three plaques to, uh, to get here. 
So I'm gonna gently uh, take this thing off. So um, as you can see, Ariel has put these double-sided tape uh, on these um, stands. So if you wish to, you can just uh, you know, take off one of these and then it'll stick more securely. Uh, but there is an indentation. And so um, you know the plaque can actually fit in. And before you're doing this displaying it, it, it stays in pretty well. Um, you can see it's very, very thin. And sometimes you know, the plaque can warp a little bit. Um, but you know, I prefer not to use the tape if I don't need to, especially when you know this is just going to be literally you know, displayed. And so um, here's the signature, and then on the back, you actually have the um, certificate, in a sense, the uh, the sticker of authenticity from SWAU, and then you can see this number. And so if you check this number on their website, um, it will show up. It's every one of these numbers is unique. And if you put that up there, um, you can see that this is A99176, and um, that's the authentication, the all-important authentication. So um, for my Hayden Christensen ones that I got from GalaxyCon, I didn't really specify um, where to put it, so they just put the sticker actually uh, over the Lucasfilm logo, and uh, they had you know Hayden sign away from it, which is okay. I mean, it's kind of neat to have the authentic authentication on the front. Uh, but here, you know, it's a little bit more elegant. You have it in the back, and so you have the nice, uh, the nice plaque up here. Okay, so this is for the Phantom Menace. So I'm going to gently put it back in place. And then, as you can see, it just kind of goes in here. I'm gonna put it aside. And then this is the one for Attack of the Clones. to show you here again there's a sticker of authenticity and then um, there's this blue sticker this is probably kind of marking uh, the item number you know that Elwin McGregor was signing again no big deal I'm not going to take that off And then last but not least, we have episode three, Revenge of the Sith. And if you look at the back again, the lot number, and then the certificate. So you can see mine was, I think, one, seven, six, seven, and eight. So those are the three. Um, holographic certificates of authenticity. Uh, the, his signature is not cheap. Um, not the most expensive, but certainly uh, not the cheapest. Uh, he runs about $250 per signature. So for those of you uh, doing the math, that means that this set of three uh, certificates you know, cost a pretty penny, two fifty each. Uh, you don't get a discount for multiple orders, so all of that, uh, you know, was about seven fifty, and then you put in shipping, uh, tax, insurance, etc. You know, get you close to eight hundred. But um, you know, it's worth it because you know we don't know how long some of these actors are going to sign. Uh, they've been doing it quite a bit uh, over the last few years. Um, but, you know, certainly you can't tell when they may stop. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do some very quick re-shots or re-reviews re of what these plaques look like in their display cases with their respective lightsabers. And I think you'll agree, um, it really adds a, a really nice touch of class to those uh, hilts and makes them you know, even more special. Uh, and again, um, even though they're not officially licensed uh, signature editions, um, these you know facsimiles are so close and look so similar um, that it really kind of you know accents those pieces very very well. So I'll show these three in the display uh, cases with the respective lightsabers, and I'll stitch it to the end of this video. So I'll see you after the break.
when I painstakingly puts them in, but yeah, I'm just kind of over the moon, really, really happy um, to have this set of three. It was really important to me. I got the two from Hayden. I got these three. I'm going to put them with my lightsabers. Um, I have Mark Hamill's uh, Luke Skywalker cooking, and that's going to take a, a few months. With these send-in signatures, uh, patience is, um, you know, basically required. Uh, but I have uh, two marks reserved, one for each of my master replicas, elite hilts, one for Return of the Jedi, the other one for A New Hope. And then I also have um, Ashley Eckstein's for my um, EFX Ahsoka Tano, and then um, Katie Sackhoff uh, for Bo-Katan Kree's for the upcoming uh, Darksaber release from EFX, which hopefully they'll be pr putting up for pre-order um, maybe next year. So I have quite a few um, signature plaques still kind of cooking coming in, but the two by Hayden and the three by uh, Ewan, uh, or Ewan, Ewan McGregor, yeah, Ewan McGregor, um, those five are actually pretty huge to me because they represent such a huge, uh, such a big part of the unsigned Master Replicas uh, hilts. Uh, of course, you know, the, the two Mark Hamels will, are the most expensive by far um, as signatures. They're going to be coming in. And then um, that would be it. I mean, at that point, the only hilts that I don't have signatures um, for would be the two Yodas, uh, obviously because of Frank Oz, uh, Liam Neeson's Qui-Gon, uh, Qui -Gon, and um, uh, obviously the Obi-Wan uh, weathered and uh, as first built because Sir Alec Guinness, of course, has passed away, uh, has passed on quite a while back. So to get really nice signature versions of those will require a bit more effort and thinking outside the box, which I know I'm considering different ways of maybe uh, going about that. But those are the five that, uh, that I, you know, that there are no signature plaques that exist for those five. Um, I have signatures for everything else. I even have a Ray Park coming in also from official picks for my battle damaged um, a mall. Uh, so I, I took care of that. Um, I think that Daisy Ridley, we have an opportunity uh, because she's very young. And even though she's not signing for Star Wars now, this may change in the future. So Daisy Ridley, there's hope. I, I don't think there's much hope, unfortunately, for Frank Oz and Liam Neeson. They just seem to be very anti-autograph, uh, you know, which is their right. I respect that. Um, Alec Guinness, or Alec Guinness, we already talked about. Uh, it's impossible. Um, and uh, what else is left? I think Rosario Dawson for the upcoming dual savers from EFX. You know, she, she's going to sign. I'm going to try to procure that sometime next year. So all in all, you know, it's, the signature quest is almost done. Uh, again, sadly, I don't think I'll ever be able to get uh, Frank, Oz, and Liam Neeson in an authenticated manner like this for one of the big, um, you know, for one of the big companies. Uh, but you never, you, you can never say never. I mean, you know, Mark Hamill had to sign for years and years, and then, you know, momentous occasion he finally decided to go back to signing this year. So that's like a huge, you know, wonderful opportunity, um, you know, for all of us. So uh, this quick little review already took up 13 minutes. Um, but again, you know, you guys can still do this too, but it just requires a lot of patience. Um, get the stand and the plaque custom made. They have to look for opportunities uh, to get these things sent in and then signed back. So there you go. And I'll see you after the cut when I show um, some brief videos of what the hilts look like with the signature plaques next to them. Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, after the cut, I wanted to kind of show you where my uh, Obi-Wan custom signature plaques are finally placed. You can see now that it's with the lightsabers. So this is the Revenge of the Sith version. You can see it has both plaques, the limitation worldwide edition, as well as the actual numbered plaque and in the center, the signature sorry for the reflection um it's under natural lighting and the acrylic as you can imagine is a very nice mirror same thing here this is the episode one elite version and here um this was created i think before um 2006 so they actually did have the the elite um, additions uh, number and the limitation on the same plaques. They didn't, they didn't need to make another plaque. We went over this in previous reviews. So these are the two of them, Revenge of the Sith, episode one and three. I'll show the second one downstairs later on. 
And right next door, since we're here, we have the episode three, Darth Vader, lightsaber, signed by Hayden Christensen. I got this from GalaxyCon, and this was my very first custom signature plaque, and so I was a little bit inexperienced. I forgot to tell them where to put the authentication sticker, so they just put it in the front, um, which is fine. It looks great. It's right in your face. You can see the number that you entered into the website to prove that he just signed it in front of witnesses. Very good authentication. You can see that with the um, custom signature plaque that there's not quite enough room to display the other two plaques uh, next to it end to end. There's not quite enough room, so you have to kind of put it a little bit behind it to overlap it. But I think it looks great. I'm very pleased with how it looks. So there you have it. Um, I'll show you the other signature plaques after the cut. Hey, welcome after the cut. So I'm in another area of the house. This is showing the awesome Anakin Skywalker lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith, episode three. Again, excuse my reflection in the acrylic. This is like a gorgeous uh, lightsaber. Absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see, taking its inspiration from the original Graflex uh, lightsaber of uh, Luke Skywalker and the New Hope um, and Empire. But it's just like an amazing uh, piece, super polished, chromed, look at you from above. So, you know, by itself, it's already just really, really uh, beautiful. Um, and then, you know, getting it with the double plaques, again, having the limitation, um, the number actually, this is called the numbered plaque. And then the actual limitation plaque is, is not the easiest in the world. And then just having the custom signature plaque with Hayden's uh, signature, it's the icing or the cherry, is it icing or cherry on top of the, the Sunday, so to speak. So overall, kind of leaning back, just a really, really beautiful uh, presentation. And you know, actually after um, Anakin's been making a bit of a, a comeback, <clears throat> with Hayden Christensen playing him in the Disney Plus series, first with the Obi-Wan Kenobi show and then with Ahsoka. Um, this saber actually has gone up like quite a bit. So I've really gone through the roof. Uh, they made like quite a bit, as you can see, 4,500. Um, I don't know if they ever made the entire limitation. And so it wasn't too bad to get one, but you know, again, getting one with both plaques and then getting one, you know, with the original packaging and in great condition, um, there was a couple where, you know, the um, the gold plating was just really badly damaged. Um, there's a lot of damage to the chrome. So, you know, uh, hilts in great condition, you know, it's not all that common, um, but they were still out there. But now, um, you know, having a really, really good version, you know, has become very difficult just because of, you know, sort of the exposure, right, from the recent Disney Plus shows. Similarly with some of, you know, uh, Obi-Wan's hilts uh, back when Obi-Wan, the Disney Plus show was released. So this is where I have the other signature plaque. I, as you recall, I had one from Galaxy Con with the episode three Darth Vader hilt. And this is the other one I got. These are the two uh, very first custom signature plaques that um, I got that kind of started my, my so-called deep dive. Uh, this is the wall. As you can see, I have quite a few nice signature pieces uh this was my custom from ian mcdarmid this was actually act this was actually the very first uh custom signature plaque i bought this was actually bought from a fellow collector on the master replicas facebook page and he was you know moving on he was like collecting i think um funko pops and so he wanted to move this one and i had no custom signature plaques i didn't actually even have this uh lightsaber hilt so i bought this first and you know, this was made by uh, Ariel. And I just really loved what Ariel did. Very classy, very nice. Uh, and this was of course authenticated. I believe this is an official PIX um, version. And so that's actually what started me on it. The Hayden Christensen's was the one that I commissioned myself, but this was what I bought actually, you know, um, on the forums. And as you can see, it's always a bit of a challenge because the case is so small that, you know, you're forced to put the other plaques sort of on the side, there's no room. But there you have it. So moving finally to um, the Edwin McGregor. Uh, remember I showed three of them 
uh, at the beginning of this video. So this is where I put the third one. This is the episode two, Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber. Again, custom signature plaque next to the original uh, plaque here and then the lightsaber in its case. This is actually, you know, uh, a pretty common one. Um, they made, as you can see, 2,500. Uh, and they actually sold this one both with and without the display case. And so I was fortunate enough to get this one from the UK. Um, he had the original display case. He bought it a long time ago. As you can see, there's just something about a signature plaque you know, that really, um, I think, I think accents these uh, lightsabers so much. It makes it so much classier. I mean, they're great even, you know, necessarily without it. But when you do have it, it just takes it to a whole other level, in my opinion. So I'm just really, really happy with that. So I just kind of wanted to show you, uh, you know, what I did with those three plaques and where they're sitting and how they look, you know, in their natural um, habitat, not as isolated signature plaques. Um, really quickly, you can see the, the Christopher Lee, as well as my dual signature Obi-Wan is first built. And then down here, we got Samuel Jackson, and then Shannon Reynolds, Mara Jade, Empire Strikes Back, James Earl Jones, and of course, Anakin, and then Return of the Jedi, David Pross. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And I think I have one more brief video showing two um, signature plaques that just came in today, actually, from SWAU. And I think that'll, that'll do it for this sequence. Of, uh, uh, this sequence. I have a couple more coming in, but that's going to take a few months. And so I think I'll probably stitch all this together and release it. And then um, I'll go back to the other ones that are coming back uh, probably in the new year. There's going to be three of those, three to four of those um, that I'm expecting. But that won't be until well until I think next year. So I'll show the, um, the last two that came in today. And then I'll stitch them all together and then post them and upload them to YouTube. See you after the cut. Hey everybody, welcome back after the cut. So this, these are the last um, signature plaques I'm going to show off before I just kind of stitch everything uh, together. Um, I think for this bunch of video, little mini clips I put together, I showed you my uh, three Ewan McGregor uh, signature plaques from episode one, two, three of The Phantom Menace. And I showed you where I, you know, I showed them with their lightsabers. And then um, I also showed my previously acquired uh, Hayden Christensen uh, custom signature plaques from GalaxyCon. So the uh, Ewan McGregor's are SWAU, and then the Hayden Christensen's are um, GalaxyCon. And I showed you those you know, with uh, episode three, uh, Revenge of the Sith, Anakin lightsaber, and uh, episode three, Darth Vader lightsaber. And so uh, while I was doing that, I also showed you my Ian McDiarmid, which is from Official Picks actually. So I'm going to end with um, these plaques I just got in from SWAU. So I actually bought five from SWAU, but the Ewan McGregor I waited the longest for because that was the one I really, really wanted. As you can imagine, I have three lightsabers um, waiting for those signature plaques and I didn't mess around. Um, orders opened, I think, in May and I was one of the first to just buy them. So I waited a good half a year for that to come in. Uh, these were a little bit more last minute spur of the moment, um, you know, when I was kind of thinking about things. Uh, during that interim, I had actually obtained the Ahsoka Tano um, Clone Wars Dave Filoni Signature Edition. So I wanted Ashley uh, Eckstein's you know, signature. And so both of these I ordered actually like maybe just a month or so ahead of um, New York Comic Con in October. So I didn't have to wait quite as long. So I'll start with um, the... Um, this one here, so here's the, you know, this is the um, stand, of course, but this is what I sent in. Uh, again, Ariel did a just remarkable job. Um, I mean, he does them so well because he gets the actual logo for the shows so well done, you know, so you got Star Wars, and then, you know, you have The Mandalorian, Bo-Katan Kreese, Darksaber, they have the Lucasfilm and EFX logos instead of the um, Master Replica logos. And then you have the actress Katie Sackhoff, Signature Edition. And then you have uh, Katie's, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, this is like an amazing signature. So so look, you know, there, there it is. And then here's the back. This is obviously the, the tape they used to keep everything uh, 
you know, organized, and then the all important uh, holographic, no, uh, you know, authentic authenticity sticker that they kindly put on the back. You can see the number here, A67175. If you put that into their website, it will tell you the date and the time that this was signed in the presence of SWAU representatives. Um, absolutely, you know, confirming the authenticity um, without any controversy. Um, I heard a pretty scary, like, you know, statistic that apparently like over 70% of all the uh, autographs, you know, on the internet or whatever are actually all fake. And so that makes authenticity very, very important uh, when you have companies like Official Picks and SWAU and GalaxyCon where you know the celebrity or the actor or actress is actually signing the plaque in front of them and then they put that sticker back up there. And that is the 100% way. I mean, in my opinion, that's more important than even you getting the signature from the, the, you know, the actor because you try to sell that as like, you know, even with a picture, it's just a very laborious way of confirming. I, I really, you know, obviously prefer um, having, you know, the authentication of the stickers uh, done this way, okay? so. Here it is. Now, the reason I got this is because, as you know, EFX is going to be um, releasing the Dark Saber hilt. It hasn't even been put up for pre-order yet, but they showcased it in San Diego Comic Con uh, earlier this year. So we know, you know, barring any catastrophes, that that is going to come out. And so I wanted um, a signature with that Dark Saber, which I'm going to get. And you know, of, in my opinion, you know, with the lore of the Dark Saber, both from the Clone Wars and Rebels, and and now the Mandalorian, and it seemed very clear to me, at least. That Bo Katan Kreese, you know, is the um, character that should, you know, most um, that you know is basically the dark saber belongs to. Um, it has you know the, the most connection with her, the most lore and history with her, and so I just felt strongly that um, the signature I wanted was of Bo Katan Kreese and you know, the actress, you know, and the actress who portrays her in live action and in you know voice acting. Uh, format way well well before the Mandalorian came out was Katie Sackhoff and I gotta say that you know, I'm just uh, really really happy with the signature I know that there's some people who are really anal about it like they know they want the signature they, they want the signature like just in the box uh, there's a few people who I've you know heard talk about the fact that oh you know um, like Samuel Jackson can't keep a signature in the box and they like the one with the Samuel Jackson sig is like in the box but for me, this kind of amazing, bold signature, nice and large, um, filled with life. I mean, you know, this is a signature, you know what I'm saying? I really, really like it. I mean, I do like the elegant versions. You can tell from a different age, like, you know, Christopher Lee's is just amazing, right? Just like really, really small, really neat. Um, you know, Sir Alec Guinness has the same type of signature, small and neat. But, you know, I'm, I'm down with that too, right? Because that's a reflection of their, their times and how, you know, they were brought up and how they were taught to to write, but um, I really like Katie Sackhoff's, um, you know, signature here, big, bold, fills up everything, just kind of bursts out of the, the rectangle. Um, it's a really, you know, it's really odd. It's actually like, you know, into her actual name at the, at the bottom. So, I mean, this is great, you know, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna put this back in its um, stand, which is a little bit loose, you know, so like, again, if you're not careful, it'll slip right out. But there's this little tiny sub-millimeter indentation. And this plaque, by the way, you know, has a little bit of give, has a little bit of minuscule warping. And so um, it is something to bear in mind. If I, if I wanted to, I could just peel off one double-ended sticker and then just put an eye on it, it'd be fine. But this is how it's gonna look. Uh, and now comes a long wait for the Dark Saber to be released from EFX. I'm guessing minimum one year before I get the hilt in my hands and I'll do another update video when I review the hilt. Um, I'll review it with this custom signature plaque. I think it's gonna make it look beautiful. Like all you know, lightsabers, having a signature plaque with that lightsaber is just going to take it right to the next level. So super happy about that. Um, and I'm gonna put this aside <clears throat> back here. And then we're going to look at Ahsoka's. So this is the plaque that I wanted to put in the um, EFX Ahsoka Tano um, Dave Filoni, you know, uh, lightsaber display. And I don't think I can. I think I have to just basically put it on top of the acrylic case because again, with you know, EFX's stupid decision to lock the um, lightsaber acrylic legs into the plaque stand, 
I can't move them Dave Filoni plaque anywhere. It's been centered and there's no place to put this, uh, which is a shame because if you take a look here, again, Ariel, next level, right? Let's look at Tom Lightsaber, Ashley Eckstein, and look at what Ashley did. Um, first of all, let me just look at the back here. So again, here's the number they use to keep things up, uh, you know, keep things together. And then this is the holographic sticker, 881749. So for sure, absolutely authentic. But look at this signature. Isn't that amazing? Um, I, you know, specifically didn't request like a character name. So when they ask you to do options for signing, you have a whole lot of options. I mean, you can have like, I don't know, personalizations and character names. And they all cost a little bit extra money because obviously, you know, these actors are signing hundreds of items. And so any type of personalization, anything that slows them down, anything that requires them to write more, you know, you've got to charge more, which I think is completely understandable, completely fair. But I don't know if this is how Ashley normally signs her name now, or she signs, no, like, does she normally sign this for any Ahsoka Tano, like, you know, um, prop or replica? Because I, I, I think there was like, you know, again, um, there was a YouTube video, you know, where um, this guy was reviewing his Mark Hamill signature edition from New Hope. And then he kind of, you know, panned the camera very quickly to his EFX Ahsoka Tano, uh, Dave Filoni, you know, hilt. And he had made a custom plaque just like this for Ashley to sign. And I think from what I remember, it was just Ashley Eckstein, you know. But here, she kind of went above and, uh, above, above and beyond. She signed with an A, but the A is like, you know, a big A. And the up top is Ashley Eckstein, and the bottom is Ahsoka Tano, which I think is like so cool, you know, if you think about that. And so she kind of gave you, gave me like the extra gift, knowing that this is for the Ahsoka Tano lightsaber. She actually sort of gave the gift of that extra, you know, scribble, which I, mean, I know like it's a small thing necessarily, but I mean, that's a lot of work. Um, I, I hope that she, you know, didn't do this for every single Ahsoka Tano stuff, because that's why people are going to ask her to sign, right? I mean, she's basically Ahsoka. I mean, she's. I mean, no disrespect to Rosario Dawson, who's you know, doing a great job, but in my mind, you know, what made me fall in love with Ahsoka is Ashley's voice acting, you know, over literally seven seasons of Clone Wars spanning well over seven years. She also did four years. She also did the Rebels episodes. And so, you know, she's the reason why I think Ahsoka's become such a fan favorite, along with the writing and all that, but she brought that character to life, you know? And she played that character when the character had the most passion, the most heart. I mean, it's kind of hard to see Rosario Dawson sometimes play this character as a, you know, like much older, more grim, you know, type of person. Um, when we're used to like, again, the, the Soka that Ashley gave us. And so uh, for her to kind of sign it this way with the character's name in her writing, that's just a huge, huge gift. And I really, really appreciate that. So really, really happy. And um, I wish I could display this proudly in the actual acrylic case, um, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I'll see if I can figure out a way, but there you go. So this is my um, Ahsoka Tano and Bo-Katan uh, custom signature packs, one from The Mandalorian, one from The Clone Wars. Um, so I can't wait you know, uh, for the Darksaber to come in so I can put that with them. Again, it's going to be very challenging to get these plaques into the cases. It's not going to look very good, but what can you do? You know, we have to make do with what we got. But I do wish that EFX was just a little bit less crappy about some of their design decisions. So that's it. You know, this is my little video of all of the um, custom signature plaques that I have. I have uh, in my possession, you know, uh, eight of them, right? So I got the five from SWAU, I got the one from Ian McDiarmid from Official Picks, and then I got the uh, these two, you know, from again, um, I'm sorry, I got the two from GalaxyCon. So GalaxyCon, Galaxy Official Picks, and SWAU, those are the three big ones um, for, you know, these signature that I trust. Um, so I've got those eight in my possession, and I'm still waiting for um, the two Mark Hamels from official picks as well as the Ray Park that I'm going to use for my Elite Edition uh, sabers and my uh, Battle Damaged Mall. So that'll be 11 total and I'm going to, and then I'm going to get the uh, Rosero Dawson one for next year and I'm going to have that ready 
uh, for when the dual lightsabers, which I did pre-order from EFX, is going to come. So those are that's my plan, you know. And um, I did miss, unfortunately, Daisy Ridley. She actually just signed a year ago for official picks, and I have, as you know, the dark ray lightsaber from EFX. And so I'll have that plaque made too, and hopefully she'll sign again, and I'll be ready to have that sent in if that happens. And I need to have a Mark Hamill for the Luke reveal from EFX. Um, I mean, I'm kind of bummed in a sense I didn't get that. I didn't think to do that because at that time when I uh, bought the Hamill ones for my Master Replicas uh, episode six and episode four elite versions, I wasn't really, I wasn't really 100% I was going to get the Luke reveal. And so I didn't want to make the plaque and do all that signature stuff, but uh, I should have known. But in, in, a, in a way, I think that's better because his signature is the most expensive. Like one Mark Hamill custom plaque is like over $600 actually. And so probably swing close to 2000 for three mark signatures was a little bit much so i can take my time i'm hoping that you know this uh signing with official picks and uh, the con in san francisco is not his last one uh, hopefully he'll get back into the swing of things and there'll be an opportunity a little bit later on maybe half a year or a year to get that one sick from him uh to finish things off but you know those are my plans for my signature uh you know additions um I'm trying to get a signature plaque for every single one of the lightsabers I, I own, which is going to be challenging. Obviously, uh, Alec Guinness has passed on, and uh, Liam Neeson and Frank Oz just don't sign, period, as far as I know for this type of thing. But I'm slowly getting there, so I hope you kind of enjoyed a very different type of, um, you know, uh, review uh, than you're normally used to, kind of the world of signature plaques. And I uh, hope you agree that, you know, when you have a... A signature plaque like this made by Ariel that looks so legit you know and so iconic looks so much like the master replica than EFX type of you know plaques and you have the actual signatures of the you know actor or actress associated with the, with the lightsaber hilt it just really elevates it and makes it just so much more amazing so I hope you enjoyed all of that and until next time do take care